Hello again, 31. Hi, here I am back. <laughs> because technology abandoned me and uh, actually cut uh, and interrupted my tips of the day previously. So here it is again. I hope that this time it will be more successful. Well, the tip of the day today is about Belcanto and Veldetto. Yes. So Belcanto and Veldetto hand in hand. Why? Veldetto means actually literally translated well said so well sang yes and also well said why why because you have to understand why first of all Belcanto uh, was born here in this wonderful country Italy why was Italy the homeland of Belcanto and why we had the best actually singers, opera singers in the history in Italy. Why? Are we better? <laughs> Do we have better chromosomes? Are, more, are we more musical? No, of course not. It's because of the language. The Italian language is the language for properly singing because it is actually a language built on vowels, on long vowels. We plan on the vowels and we actually already sing when we speak almost. So for us Italian native singers it's quite easy to sing legato because actually we already do it constantly seven days a week, 365 days a year. We speak in the legato, we plan on vowels. So we just need to phonate to put a pitch and for us it's quite easy. Uh, so this is actually the reason why we cannot disconnect bel canto from the language. So first of all I suggest to every one of you to learn a basic Italian which is probably the best investment ever you can make as a classical singer. And then watch out actually what you do with the text. Bel canto and Well detto. Prepare the text before you go in the singing properly. Really make it meaningful and try to understand where are the closed vowels, where are the open vowels, where are the accents of the words, where do we plan on certain vowels, where do we plan even on certain consonants, yes, and where we do double consonants. So, uh, and also remember that usually we sing maintaining and respecting even the phonetic accent of the spoken language very, very often. And this is not written in on any score so either you know it or either you know it <laughs> so bel canto and bel detto yes very very important yes why well because really i believe that technique is not a monster to put on an altar to sing wonderfully like beautiful instruments or birds no it should be at the service i think of the text we are actually ambassadors of this wonderful art and we should become great 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 communicators yeah it's about telling a story and reaching the soul of the audience how through the text. So the beautiful singing, the bel canto, is actually at the service of the bel detto. Yes? So bel canto and bel detto, hand in hand. <laughs> Never forget this, it's very important. If you're not able to say to declamate a text in advance properly before singing, like really a Shakespearean actor, well, you will not be able to sing it properly properly. Simple as that. So work on the text before calmly, deeply in advance, and then only later go in the singing. This is my advice for today. My tip of the day, bel canto and bel detto. I hope it might inspire you and help you a bit uh, to sing easier uh, and better and keep the joy of singing always, of course. A big uh, kiss from Italy to every one of you from Capucina. I see you very soon for another tip of the day. Bye!